Well, each week during Black History Month, I've been featuring a different person with ties to Kansas City that's made an impact on the cinematic landscape. And in this week's and last focus on film, we're talking about Kansas City native Donald Frank Cheadle Jr. Yes, Don Cheadle is one of the most prolific actors working today. Yes, most know him as James Rhodes slash War Machine from the Marvel movies, but before he became a member of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, he was known as one of Hollywood's most gifted character actors. Cheadle first gained notoriety opposite Denzel Washington in Devil in the Blue Dress, then starred in a string of movies including Rosewood, Boogie Nights, Out of Sight, Traffic, and of course, the Ocean movies. Uh, it's also criminal that he has never won an Oscar, which actually says more about the Academy which votes than Cheeto. Uh, he's also been just as successful behind the camera. Uh, he co-produced Crash, which won Best Picture in 2005. He's been successful in both movies and TV, and now here's a look at three of his best performances, starting first with a little known film that I believe is a classic. Don Cheadle portrayed Washington DC radio personality Ralph P.D. Green, an ex-con who became a popular talk show host and community activist in the 1960s. The film is introspective, but also very funny. Cheadle is superb in his 2007 film. The scenes opposite Taraji P. Henson, who plays his girlfriend, are brilliantly manic. Uh, it's an interesting perspective of the civil rights era and a compelling story about a little known figure. Number two on the list, the 2015 movie, Miles Ahead. It was an experimental exploration of the life and music of Miles Davis. Cheadle not only starred as an enigmatic jazz trumpeter, he also directed the film. After disappearing for a period of five years in the 1970s, Miles and a music reporter set out to recover a stolen sessions tape. The movie's bizarre and a bit trippy, but it's also daring. It's nonetheless a passion project that Cheadle successfully pulls off, thanks mostly to his audacious performance and skillfully directed film. It's definitely an underrated movie, and I definitely say you check it out. But number one on the list is Don Cheeto, who is a hotel manager who houses over a thousand Tutsi refugees during their struggle against the Hutu militia in Rwanda, Africa. Hotel Rwanda is based on real events. It was released in 2004. It's gripping and compelling. Cheadle is exceptional in the role. He was nominated for an Oscar, but unfortunately did not win. But many consider this his best performance of his career, which is saying a lot. And I also agree. The movie's powerful, sad, emotionally enthralling, and yes, it's harrowing, but it detailed an examination of a tragedy that went mostly ignored. So there you go, guys. That's my take on Black History Month this year. It's been a lot of fun featuring these four amazing people, Gordon Parks, Kevin Wilmot, Janelle Monet, and lastly, Don Cheeto, who have all have ties to Kansas City, but have made a tremendous impact on the cinematic landscape. Four it's, fantastic individuals. This has been such an awesome series well, because thank you. we have learned that. so much about uh, these people who, who are so well known and yeah, call Kansas City home in a lot of ways. Oh yeah, they, they really do. And they've yeah. delivered some, I mean, all the movies they've been a part of, whether in front of the camera or behind the camera are just, awesome movies oh, and yeah. Atlanta, a lot of them are, are classics and masterpieces so they've definitely contributed to Hollywood in a big way. Yeah. Awesome. I love Don Cheadle because you know oh, Paul and all those so other guys. Good. Don Cheadle's great. Always, he's, like, he's from KC man. Yeah, yeah. he's so great. Cool. He can he can act out act most people <laughs> in the universe. Yeah. All the actor. roles. Yes. All the roles. Yes. yes. All right. Thanks awesome. Sean. Thank you so much.